Hello there everyone, my name is Gareth and today I'm going to be showing you how to add Garage Mod Workshop content to a Garage Mod Workshop Fast Download. Uh, so first off what you want to do is head over to Steam Community and then where it says Workshop just go ahead and click that. Next click on the Garage Mod icon here. And then you want to find some content that suits what you want to add basically. So for example if I go to items, there's multiple things that I could choose from here and I'm going to go ahead and just install M9K. Go top rated all time and then I'm just going to install small arms. If you click the add to collection button here, then you can add it to a chosen collection. So I'll just go ahead and show you how to create a collection really quickly. If you go back to the workshop section, you can create a collection by going browse collections, then clicking create collection, and you can just create one. Just uh, you can just keep all of these settings the same. Uh, give it a name, a branding image, uh, a description. Just make sure that this one is selected, otherwise it will not work. And these are just tags so people can find your collection. I already have a collection though, so not just networks is mine. And I'm going to click OK. So now that's been added to the collection. Um, just, you just want to keep this page open for a second. And what you want to do is go right click, new text document okay and then if you open up that text document then you'll have if I do it with you here we go text document and just want to call it workshop and then .txt open that up I'm using notepad++ I definitely recommend it because it allows for flexibility and a lot easier to edit Lua files uh, JavaScript files, it basically has for support for any sort of code uh, which is a great way to learn code and also just see like what you're doing so this, this is why I'd recommend it. It's free to download, just go on the website, I'll leave a link in the description for you but basically what you want to do is grab this line here oh, I've messed up there if I just copy this and then paste it in here this is basically adding the resource to the workshop so what you want to do is go back to the internet and you want to copy the code here it will say something along the lines of id equals and then after the equals just copy that number you just want to paste that in, to, in between the two parentheses um, I didn't even copy it, oh dear there we go, copy and then we'll paste it here that's done then what you'd want to do is just go control control shift F. Oh, that's not working. Um, control O S. Sorry, and then you just want to change the name to Lua source file. So workshop .lua, and then click save. I already have a copy, so I'm just going to click replace it. If we go to the desktop now, we can see we have um, this one, which is a Lua file, and obviously. By using Notepad++, plus plus, I can see that resource is highlighted uh, because that's a keyword. Now that's done, you just want to go to your FileZilla or FTP client, go into Gary's mod, Lua, Auto Run, Server, and then drag and drop workshop.lua into this file. Next, just go back out, like so and then you can join me back on here once you've done that you can just go back to your profile and then click on my workshop which is located just down here my workshop click on collections and then choose the collection which suits you so not just networks obviously you can see I have a few things on here already but I'm just going to remove these two you can remove something by going add to collection and then unticking it like so. So we'll just remove those two. And then if we refresh this, we can see M9K small arms is available in this collection. 
the next thing that you want to do is copy this this ID go to your client choose a server that you're working on go to command line custom command lines edit and then obviously this is on game mode dark roleplay and then we're just gonna have the map on gm underscore construct you see where it says workshop collection ID you just want to paste that number that we just copied another thing that you need to add is the workshop authentication ID so what you, you can get that by doing steam community I uh, dot com slash dev slash api key I already have mine and mine's linked to my domain gareth-evan.com I'm going to copy this key and then paste it into here like so once that's done the game server will restart and then everything will be added to the workshop fast download if I was to join the game server now, M9K Small Arms would be downloaded to my client and I would be available to see the models, etc. I hope that this tutorial has helped. It's as simple as um, just basically adding it. Uh, so I'll go through another example for you. If I click on Workshop and I wanted to add Morgan Freeman player model skin, I could go Add to Collection, Nitrous Networks, Copy the ID. Go into my FileZilla, Lua, Auto Run, Server, Workshop, View and Edit. Control D to duplicate a line, and then paste in the code there, save it, and then update it. And that's added to the client. It's as simple as that. Hope that this tutorial has helped you, and I'll see you in the future for more videos.